Hey, stick around. We're going to be talking today about Google Analytics and how to understand the Google Analytics dashboard. Hi, I'm Corey Ashton, and today on WordPress Wednesday, we are going to walk you through understanding the Google Analytics dashboard. Last week, we talked about how to connect it, uh, Google Analytics itself, to your WordPress website. But now, now that you've got those uh, analytics kind of coming in and starting to monitor and track your website, what do you do with it and how do you read all of that confusing stuff inside the Google dashboard? I'm going to walk you through it. Here we go. Okay, everyone. So the real question is, why do I even care? I have got so much else to do with my business. Why do I even care about Google Analytics, right? Well, I know that it's overwhelming whenever you log into this dashboard, but the truth is, that you've got to understand where your traffic is coming from on your web, uh, to your website. You've got to understand what they're doing on your website. And you've got to understand if your website is causing sales or whatever call to action you want your visitor to do, you have to see if that's actually working. So one of the best and free, free is always in the budget, uh, best resources you can use is Google Analytics to find out all that information. And a lot of times, uh, these are the exact analytics and statistics that you can plug back into your marketing strategy to help you understand where to put budgeting dollars, um, how to write your content to figure out what content's working, what content's not working, um, maybe what avenues you should be uh, targeting more and spending more time on, such as if Facebook is bringing uh, visitors to you, maybe you need to be spending more time there instead of LinkedIn or the other way around. If you're noticing that you're getting a lot of traffic organically from LinkedIn, uh, maybe we should actually be spending more time networking in that arena as instead of Facebook. You don't know those things unless you're monitoring your Google Analytics, right? So here we go. I'm going to just break it down very, very quickly in this short video. I'm going to give you another link to another video that's about 30 minutes in length but it's really really good it's it's directly from google it'll be here in this blog article but check this out really they break it down into uh three areas and i'm gonna whoop, shrink myself down here there you go uh because i want you to be able to see this full screen right uh when you first log into the dashboard you're going to see all sorts of weird numbers and you're really not going to understand oh well what's going on what what does all this mean um, there's a few things you really want to pay attention to. One is going to be your bounce rate. And that means basically you're going to see right here your bounce rate. You want that to be 40% uh, or less is really where you want to be for your bounce rate. Um, and what that means is basically they've come to your website and they don't click anything deeper. They don't go anywhere else. They click their back button and they bounce away. They move away from your website. So you certainly want to monitor that and be sure that whatever pages they're actually landing on they're engaged enough that they can move further into your website clicking deeper and deeper into your website. Another thing you want to pay attention to is what pages they land on, right? And you also want to know where you're getting your traffic from, okay? So Google breaks it down to the ABCs. Over here on the left side, you're going to see acquisition, that's A, behavior, B, and conversions, C. Acquisition means how did we acquire our visitors? Where did they come from, okay? So think of it that way, that's acquisition. B, behavior, what did the visitor do whenever they were on your website, right? So we're going to be able to log into that area and kind of see what pages they visited and how long they spent. And conversions is all about the call to action and the end result of actually converting a visitor to a sale or to a hot lead, right? Whatever you want that CTA to be. So conversions is about did they reach a goal? And Google gives you the resources here to set up those goals so that you can be notified if maybe a certain page is reached or if they reach your checkout page or something like that. It's a really cool tool and a lot of people don't use it. Um, but let's go through here. We're going to go to acquisition. Clicking on that opens up all sorts of really cool options. In here, you really want to pay attention to the all traffic area. You can scroll down and see um, where you gained all of your traffic from. Remember, acquisition is where are you getting your traffic from. Um, and through here, you're going to see people are searching organically. There was a referral. This is direct, meaning that they typed in your domain name. They already knew your domain name, so they typed it in. Maybe they found it on a business card or something like that. And then you find um, search results coming from Yahoo and Bing and all the way down the line of maybe some other referral places that have, have your website listed. So this is a really cool place to um, check out and see where you're getting your traffic from. There are different methods of uh, structuring these uh, reports. You can click on a, a graph view here and see that graph view and that's really cool to kind of break down and see you know this dark blue is Google organic right here. What that means Google organic it typically means let's say you are um, 
a, a doggy daycare. Somebody went to Google and typed in doggy daycare San Antonio and your listing appeared and they clicked on you. That's that organic Google result. And then that's how that is also in Yahoo. They're using Yahoo, they're using Bing, and this is the number of times that it happened within this certain set period. So remember, this isn't everything that's happened since the launch date of your website. This is very typically set within a certain uh, date range. So this is 30 days. And you can adjust that and get full reports over other periods of time as well. Another thing over here on this uh, left side would be keywords. You can come into that area, and if you're running paid campaigns, you can see that here. Um, but since we're not running paid campaigns, we only have the opportunity to look at organic search terms to see what people are using to access our website. So this is very, very interesting information because you want to pay attention to the highest ranking keywords and write to that content uh, in your blog articles so that you can gain more and more traffic, if that makes sense. So that's kind of the quick areas inside of acquisition. Going into behavior, we get to go see what they uh, went to whenever they were in our website. So I'm going to click down into all pages and kind of go see what my highest ranking page is on my website, which of course, very typically, this little forward slash means it's just your .com, like webtegrity.com. That's your home page is what that means. And then all the rest of these are where most people are spending most of their time on your website. This is a really, really uh, important screen to monitor. Uh, you want to know and see are people looking at our events calendar? Okay, good. That that's great. Are are they are they seeing what they can do inside of our uh, business? Do they go and visit the shop page? One of the reasons why you want to know this is because maybe there's a page that you've buried further down in your website that you think, man, that'd be a really great resource, and nobody's finding it. Then you can restructure your navigation at the top to bring that page a little bit more to the forefront to help people find that page easier. So this is a really, really cool area here inside of um, Google Analytics. The in-page analytics is something really super cool too. Um, if you set this up, you can actually see where people are clicking in your website. You can see um, specifically kind of the areas that are um, most likely visited on your actual web page. In other words, where they actually clicked. So it's still loading for a second. It does take a little bit of time because it actually goes and uh, gets like a screenshot of your website and reveals the different uh, areas here. Uh, let's see, dun, 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 dun. it's gonna think about it, here we go. Okay, so hold on, wait for it, still loading. Still loading, there, check this out, all right. So now as we scroll down through here, you can kind of see, um, we've got back to top, 63% is using that. Um, let's see, uh, here we go up here, 63% likes our home button. Uh, three three percent is clicking over here in our stay area. They also like our icon. They are they do know that the icon is the home button. That's great. A lot of people are coming over here to our contact, so we get to see those in-page analytics. That's a pretty cool resource as well. Um, let's see. Last but not least, conversions. Again, this is an area that a lot of people do not set up. But um, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to leave you with uh, that other video because she really walks you through um, how to use this resource, how to walk through all the different things that you can set up to actually um, create goals for your websites for, so that you can uh, get those uh, notifications that those types of goals have been reached. So everything that you're doing here, you're monitoring your your all traffic, you're monitoring your keywords, you're monitoring your behavior, all of that is for the end result of converting, right? All of it's great, but if it doesn't convert to a sell or a hot lead, you know, we're, we're really kind of spinning our wheels. So that's a really quick overview of the Google dashboard. I hope that helped, uh, but be sure to spend extra 30 minutes and watch this other video that I've got for you. Okay, so I understand that that was the extreme basics of what Google Analytics can even ultimately do. It's, it's incredible what all you can actually have that tool do for you, but Today I walked you through the ABCs, all right? What I want you to do is, if you have extra 30 minutes, watch the other video that I have linked here. It's super, super important. And then take all of this knowledge and begin to plug it back into your marketing strategies. If you use this knowledge that you're learning, you will not only increase your ROI, you're gonna better your marketing all the way around, and you're gonna gain brand new customers that you never ever would have reached had you not been doing this. Thanks so much for visiting us on WordPress Wednesday. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you can get, get great videos like this every single week. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye, y'all. Hey, everybody. Videos are a great resource for learning, but there's nothing better than learning in person from WordPress experts. We offer a beginner's course and an advanced track 
that can teach you everything you want to know about WordPress. Our classes start soon, so head over to webtegrity.com and register today.